Welcome into Hitting Hard with John Chuckery here on Locked On Sports Atlanta. Today on the show, can you win with Desmond Ritter? And one guy I'd like the Falcons to bring back. It's all next. Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, Locked On Sports Atlanta. This is Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, part of Locked On Sports Atlanta. And it starts now. Hitting Hard is brought to you by Bet Online. We ask you to head to youtube.com, put Locked On Sports Atlanta into your search browser. When you get there, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment. We are free and available on all of your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify and Odyssey. Leave us a five star review. Roku and Amazon Fire. Yes, you can check us out on those platforms as well. Leave us a review there and follow me at JMCH316. So it's the question that's plaguing all Falcons fans' minds here lately. Can you win with Desmond Ritter? You know, look, Desmond Ritter is a very heady quarterback. He was very successful in college even for coming out of a small program and, you know, relative to, you know, for instance, a Joe Flacco that came out of Delaware. We didn't really know much about him because of where he played. Even, you know, a uh, uh, Steve McNair out of Alcorn State. We didn't know some things about those guys in what they did in college. But we've had a big sample size of Desmond Ritter In college, he was on TV every week. He played in marquee games, you know, Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, UCLA. I mean, he played in all, played in playoff games and everything like that. So we had a big sample size on national TV to evaluate Desmond Ritter. Now, do I think that the Falcons can win a Super Bowl? with Desmond Ritter. That has to be proven out. And and we've got a long way to go. But if the Falcons stick with the formula for what made Marcus Mariota successful, right? Short passing game, run heavy offense, great offensive line play. You know, forget what the defense does and all this kind of stuff out there. The personnel around him. And and obviously, getting Kyle Pitts back, Drake London, you know, maybe they'll find another wide receiver, you know, CP84, you know, throwing to him, whatever. I think that there is a pathway to winning with Desmond Ritter. Now, you know, look, in the first couple of games, he's been at 59% uh, completion percentage, 593 to be specific, um, you know, that's got to increase. You know, that if he can get to about 65% completion percentage, then I think he's got a shot. You know, the game plan for the Falcons is to not get away from what makes them successful. You know, it's been a drastic turnaround. And look, when you have Matt Ryan that's dropping back 600 times a year, You know, I always said this, until the Falcons moved on from Matt Ryan, they were always going to be a pass-heavy offense. They were always going to be that type of offense because you have a guy that's thrown for 60,000 yards. So until you got away from those guys, from that guy, you were never going to change the offensive philosophy. Well, now we have the identity of Arthur Smith's offensive philosophy. It is run heavy. It is play a good off, uh, good on the offensive line. It it is a run dominant game. They're they're the only team in the NFL that has a a higher percentage of running plays than passing plays. So I think if you stick with some of the formula, and again, this isn't about 20 pass attempts. You know, look, I brought up the stat all season long. When Mariota was over 20 pass attempts and under, it's not about that, but it is about the short passing game, 
with an occasional shot downfield. It is about being run heavy. It is about playing up, uh, being good on your offensive line. It is about being good on the right hand side of your offensive line and running behind those guys. It is about having all of your weapons available. And I think based upon the chemistry that we've seen with Drake London, it's an encouraging sign. Like when in doubt, throw it to London. Marcus Mariota, when in doubt, throw it anywhere. Just, you know, I, so again, the chemistry between Drake London and Desmond Ritter is, you know, it is right on track. Now, if we can develop that with Kyle Pitts, now, I, you know, and again, I've said that before. You can't be incompetent in the passing game. You know, for all the, the things that Arthur Smith's offense and, you know, this, that, and the other, you can't be incompetent when you throw the football, we were at times incompetent throwing the football. Now, again, in Desmond Ritter's couple of starts, and and I think that the play calling has left something to be desired. I, I don't think we've at times put Desmond Ritter in the best position to win football games. And, and he's got a lot of growth and development, but the moment's not going to be too big. The intangibles are there. Look, even through, you know, the, the Falcons, you know, uh, offensive woes, you know, he had the second most passing yards of the, of the Falcon season and he hasn't turned the football over, you know, normally. And again, the saints game, he is close. He, 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 <laughs> he definitely teetered that edge, but he, but he didn't turn the football over. And so there are a lot of intangibles about Desmond Ritter and his moxie, and his leadership, and this, that, and the other, that I think that the Falcons can win with him. How far the Falcons can go is a different story. But if we're trying to take the next step, the next step in the evolution of the Falcons winning football games, you know, I said, listen, I said the year before they'd win seven games, they won seven games. I think this year, I, I said before the season started, they'd win six games. I think they'll win six games. I think they'll split between Arizona and Tampa Bay, and they'll be right on that six-win mark. So I, I'm not surprised by the results of the Falcons. You know, at the end of the day, they're a five-six win team. But if you talk about that next step in the evolution, I think that there is a pathway to win with Ritter and it's more confidence in the, in the passing game, having more confidence in it, but still staying with a run heavy philosophy. That's the winning formula for Desmond. Ritter. It's not hucking it around 50 times a game. Very few quarterbacks can really gunsling it back there, but there is a pathway to winning with Desmond Ritter. And I think that we will see that come next year in a little bit more trust in the passing game and a little bit, and again, to uh, a, a run heavy philosophy that is only going to get better over the next couple of years. I want to talk about my friends over at bet online. Listen, betonline.net is your number one source for all of your sports wagering information. Listen, it's really simple. You take the mobile device that's attached to your hand. It's glued to your hand, right? You head to betonline.net and you check out all of the information they have to make you a smarter sports better. And then podcast news, stats, scores, everything that you can have as far as making you smarter. But then get in on the action. Then get in on college football, bowl games, NFL, college basketball, NBA, NHL. Get in on the action at betonline.net. So take that mobile device, head to betonline.net, get all of the news and information that you need to be a smarter sports better, and then get in on the action on BetOnline. BetOnline.net is your number one source for all of your sports wagering information. And we ask you to make Locked On Sports today your second listen every day to Hitting Hard with John Chuckery. 
Biggest stories of the day, instant reactions, big game recaps, and the take of the day. They are available on Odyssey, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts from. So one guy that I would like to see the Atlanta Falcons bring back is Casey Hayward. Now, it was a lost season for Casey Hayward. He only started six games. If you look at his pro football focus numbers, they weren't impressive. Um, 54 over 54.2 overall grade, a 52.6 coverage grade. His tackling was a 45.4, which is actually significantly better than the last couple of seasons. But he was coming off of two seasons of 76.4, 74.6 coverage grades, which is really an outstanding grade. I mean, all things considered, if you're a number two corner and you're in the 70s, that's a really good watermark. With Hayward, though, and his contract situation is such that he he has one more year on his deal. He signed the two for 11 deal, okay? But he's up to a $7 million cap hit going into next season with a $2 million dead cap number. So it would be very easy to move on from Casey Hayward from a financial perspective. But I don't think that... I don't think that you're going to find a better second corner for this defense. Now, here's what I would like to see. Okay. Here's what I would, here's what I would wish. They would add a year on to Casey Hayward's contract. So he's not playing in his final year from $7 million for, for a $7 million cap hit. And again, the Falcons are going to have plenty of money to play with and this, then the other. $7 million is not a huge cap hit, but, you know, with all the deficiencies of the Atlanta Falcons roster and, you know, again, Jake uh, Matthews is going to in uh, double his salary. Chris Lindstrom's in line to get a big contract extension. You know, any money that you can save is, is, a, is a bonus. So I'd like to add a year on to Hayward's contract so that he's playing for, two years, and then lessen that money in the first year. Restructure, you know, add on an additional year, make some money bonuses and things like that, lower that $7 million cap hit. But if you're talking about a guy who I still think can play at a high level, and he played that way in the last couple of years, and look, Casey Hayward is a second team all pro in his career. He's been second team all pro, right? He he's been a guy that has been a number one corner. He's been a guy that you can put out there on an island in man to man coverage. I just think that Casey Hayward is a guy that I would like to bring back and see what he can do over the course of a full season. And look, Dean P's defense is always about trust and opening up the percentage of the playbook and this, then, and the other. Again, the, the number one thing that the Falcons have to address defensively is their pass rush. But I feel like with A.J. Terrell and Casey Hayward, if you leave those guys out, I think they can, listen, A.J. Terrell has turned a corner. He's played well the last several weeks of the season. Right. He's kind of found his his groove again. I just think that that pairing accompanied with a pass rush that's really effective. You know, if we can be a 30, 35 sack team coming into next year, I do think that those corners are th those those two corners you can keep out on an island and and you can play more man coverage. So I would not be in favor of giving up on Casey Hayward just simply to save $5 million. Now, again, I would like to lower the cap number a little bit, you know, but saving $2 million when you've got to go out and find a starting corner is not, it is, it isn't smart business. It isn't smart business. And, and if you, and if you keep Casey Hayward's deal the same, even $7 million is not that much of a cap hit. So I would like to see Hayward 
be a part of this squad. I do think that that secondary is rounding into form, but Hayward, Hayward, I think is an important piece to be a part of all of that. Hey, want to remind you about my friends over at Built Bar. Listen, Built.com is the place to go. So listen, I'm doing some dietary changes and and things like that. So I'm looking for low sugar, low carb, low calorie, but high protein types of snacks. Built.com has your full inventory of, listen, we've tried, you've talked, we've tried the uh, marshmallow uh, puffs, the protein infused marshmallow puffs, right? All kinds of new flavors are out there. So head to built.com today. Check out their wide, extensive menu of products and check out all the different things they have available to you. Low sugar, low carb, low calorie, but high protein, all the different snacks that they have. And then when you put that order together, use the promo code LOCKEDON15, L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N, the number one, the number five, Locked on 15, and you'll save yourself 15% off your order. So we're coming into the first of the year. Everybody's looking for a healthier alternative. Go to lock, go to built.com, put locked on 15 in the promo code when you get to check out. Save yourself 15% off of your order. Built.com. It has all your great snacks. But I think that the Falcon secondary is rounding into form with our safety play, with our corners. And again, Richie Grant has had some growing pains. Let's say that in year two, he's had some growing pains. But Jalen Hawkins looks like a guy. And maybe Jalen Hawkins, you know, is the example of, okay, year two to year three in the system, in Dean P system. And and the, the safeties are being asked to provide a lot. but. If you in if you get a better pass rush, I think that Hayward and AJ Terrell are an ideal combination. And if if uh, Casey Hayward can get back to form the last couple of years, where he was about a 74, 75 coverage grade guy, that will help out immensely. But the Cornell Armstrongs and stuff like that, you know, because of injury and you know Darren Hall and you know, D. Alford, those are, those are, those are backup players. Th- those are backups that, those are, those are backup players that have no business probably starting. Cornell Armstrong has no business starting in the NFL. But I think Hayward and A.J. Terrell, I think that that's the combination that I would like to see at defensive back moving forward. All right, I want to remind you about, Locked on Sports today, it's your second listen every day. Biggest stories of the day, instant reactions, big game recaps, and the take of the day. Listen to it uh, for free on Odyssey, YouTube, wherever you get your favorite podcast from. And then we remind you to head to YouTube.com, put Locked on Sports Atlanta into your search browser. When you get there, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment. We are free and available to download on your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify and Odyssey. Hit the subscribe button. Be a part of the community every day. Leave us a review. Roku and Amazon Fire, you can check us out there as well. Leave us a a five-star review. And then follow me at at JMCH316 on my personal Twitter page. Back with you tomorrow. This has been Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, Locked on Sports Atlanta.